that I have everything laid out here for you guys, we are going to discuss everything that this thing has came with and what you get. So far, I'm liking this. This is pretty cool. The packaging on this, because this came, package came from FedEx and FedEx around me is no bueno. Let's just say that. The first box is this one. Then you have your instructions and manual right here. Then you got another thing of foam, more foam. We have the maiden voyage. The evolve the machine itself. You get the owner's manual, which literally comes with everything you need very specifically and tells you everything that you're gonna need settings how to weld make take stake um, how to set up all your settings how to put all the pieces together here and then obviously you have your chart and your chart is inside your welding machine if needed so and after that we have the take now this is a pretty good company right here and comes with everything you need everything i don't know if it comes with the consumables but there you have it and it comes with one of these one of extra of these pieces for the gas regulator now inside this box you've got the gas regulator or gauge as some people call it this is where you will receive the gauge I believe this is yep the adapter and yeah not much to say about that pretty self-explanatory then you have your stick now, obviously, you put in the piece that you need, you put it inside, and you weld, and you connect this to your welding machine. You have your MIG torch, we talked about your stick torch and your tick torch, and now your MIG torch. Now, open this thing up. Pretty much this piece, this black connection right here, plugs into here. And then the end will plug into your welding machine here. So, yeah. Here you have your MIG gun that came with this holder. So you can hold it down onto a stand or something. Feels pretty good. Not bad. This thing is huge. I was not expecting that. It's really huge. Uh, let's take this thing off. Comes with all the pieces you need. Put that back on. It has springs here, which I um, really do like because my Lincoln does not have that. And springs here as well. We have your ground clamp. Pretty simple. Plug it in here. And you clamp it to your place. Some people prefer the other style clamp. To them it's kind of cheap. But this is perfect for what I'm doing. So not going to complain. Then you have your gas line. This connects to the back of your welding machine right here. And connects to your gas pretty self-explanatory then you have your roller drive for your mig this would be where the wire would feed you have your 0 0.30 0 0.25 etc one thing i'm really excited about comes with 220 and from the back of your welding machine comes with 220 already as you can see but this is an adapter so you could go from 220 to 110 pretty cool the well the machine pretty cool i like the design a lot of guards here you get your mount here you got your dial pretty cool a lot of settings that you can do here you got your if you have if you bought spool gun you have your spool gun option you could do a uh, thing per minute the voltage your amps everything is highly tunable here will be where you plug in this piece that i showed you We'll plug in right here and yeah you mix off your negative your positive everything plugs into here as for the back you got two pans here you got your 220 you got your big on and off switch and like i said the gas line right here you just screw it on pretty simple screws on there no problem now for the inside like, I don't know, it's pretty self-explanatory. 
push up and it opens up. You got your chart here, comes with the welding machine right here. And then down here you have your, where your make would be going to, where your line would go to, where your drive would be. Pretty self-explanatory. Not bad. I'm gonna be using one time. That's why I'm glad I came with the adapter. So when I don't have 220, I can use one time. Here we have the 220 adapter right here. You move this, and that will be pretty self-explanatory. Just plug it in. There we go. Let's try turning it on. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pretty cool. Everything is plugged in. So then we have to go to our settings. Uh, I'm using 0.25, so that would be six millimeters, which would be this one here. And then you choose whatever gas, if you're doing mixed or CO2. I'm obviously doing steel, I'm doing make, but if you're doing take, you press here, or MMA. And if you want a uh, spool gun, you do that. Anyways, you got T2 and T4, we'll be using T2. And you can preset a uh, voltage or amperage or setting. Let's say you're doing eight inch, you go to a setting that's eight inch and you can save it, it has nine slots. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm planning on welding something. I'm gonna see how thick it is. And I'm gonna choose exactly what voltage I need and start welding. All right, so we were working on this new build that we'll be talking about soon in the future, but we started welding this piece to the quarter panel. My dad tried this welding machine out for the first time. He said it was pretty good. So I went to try it out myself. And um, all the times that I've welded with this, I have, this is my first time. I was supposed to weld it a little more closer to the material. Unfortunately, I did not. But well, it still came out pretty good. Now here I'm testing it out on a thinner material, coming out pretty good. Um, at the end, towards the end, you're going to see that it comes out a little better. Alrighty, so I'm 16 years old. I have zero experience with TIG welding. I've never seen anyone TIG weld in person in my entire life. And I didn't have no bench grinder to grind down the tungsten. So I just went straight for it. Uh, just a scratch start. So I was scratching it. And unfortunately, I forgot to turn on my gas. Please do not forget to turn off your gas. Yeah, that was, I was so confused. Anyways, take two and came out pretty good. Alrighty, so this is my first time TIG welding. I have no experience, nobody, no tips, no nothing. And um, I want to say that's too bad for my first try, like not too bad, 
these are mostly like here I put in some filler rod but and here too but there was mostly just the, um, the torch this was my first first one unfortunately this one and this one I forgot to add, put up switch the gas because this is a uh, scratch start so yeah this is my first time welding take this was my first attempt with just heating it up this was my last one with the filler rod it's not bad it, I'm not consistent and I got scared at the end <laughs> and I'm not I don't have welding gloves so my fingers got hot so I got scared Alrighty, so this is the final result for today. I am 16 years old, don't have much experience, don't have any teachers, and I did 20 minutes worth of TIG welding, and so far, these are my results. Now, all this here is TIG, the three lines, and these last two lines are MIG. Now, this is also TIG too. So the TIG, not bad i need to be a lot more consistent with my welding um but the machine does great machine is not the problem here is my lack of skills like i said 16 years old lack of experience this is make right here make isn't bad um not too bad here 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 i was pulling here i was i was just trying different ways of using the puddle but make is very it's really it's it's good take it's pretty good it's good for uncomfortable places because there's no pedal it's just scratch and then go but um you have to hold the tuscan there for a second and it'll start right away not a problem just make sure you're not touching the tungsten with your with your filler rod and make sure your tungsten does not touch the material that you're welding and make sure the materials Nice and prepped. You see here, this is prepped pretty good and uh, pretty happy with the results. Now, do not drop your tungsten. It would break with not a, without an issue. Like, do not drop the clear glass. <laughs> Trust me, I broke it already. It fell on the floor. Not too high, as you can see, but like I said, they will break. That's the tungsten there. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is when you do it, try to leave the tiniest gap between your material and there and just go straight. Try to be consistent and not move it at all. Do not do this because you will see that the gap will go higher. So, yeah, and don't forget to turn on your gas. That's a must. Do not forget to turn on your mat, your gas. It's really easy. Just twist a little bit. That's it. This is bendable. You could bend that thing 40 degrees. Now, as for tubing, which is the main thing I'm going to be working on, not bad for my first time. Could be, could be better. Uh, I was a little uncomfortable. Um, I'm not sure it's going to get even more comfortable, but I mean that's not bad. I think I did better on tubing than I did on this. So. And this was unprepped. It was not really prepped so good. Like I said, I barely have practice. Not bad. That's going to be a wrap for today's video. Works pretty good. I do chassis and stuff. So this is going to do very great. And I do auto body as well. So I highly recommend this machine for the price. You can't beat it. Um, it's a little expensive to get into because of the gas. I feel like it's what makes it expensive because... If you don't have a bottle or you don't find one used, good luck with that. But this is this machine right here is very budget friendly. Highly recommend it. Like I said, I'm 16 years old, don't have much experience, and I weld make pretty darn good with the stick. I mean, I can practice it real quick to show you guys, but I'm not the best at stick because I don't use it. But I don't think I'm gonna show you guys. Pretty self-explanatory. And take. Pretty happy with the exhaust for the results for my first time 
ever take welding. So that's going to be it for today's video. Please leave all your thoughts and comments down below. I got to catch you next time. Peace and God bless. Now, for those of you who are wondering how it is with stick, stick actually works pretty good. I tried it out recently. Don't have any evidence of that as, as of right now, but I can show you guys in the next video of me actually using this machine. I'll do like a little part two and show you guys my results.